He's restarting his stream because it been crapping out. That's not good. Um, yeah, JPEG's in Obsidian. Steak, I imagine, is Obsidian. Yep. And those sounded like Obsidian tier uh, stats. Do I bet on? Well, uh, Steak's been around for a while. JPEG's uh, up and coming. <laughs> Steak does have the better stats, but JPEG has more races. JPEG also gets uh, a lamb RNG. That's who JPEG plays as. Well, that's got my vote. Although I'm a big fan of steak. Steak's been around since the beginning. I've raced steak several times. He's beaten me, I've beaten him. Maybe we'll meet up again. Don't know if I've raced JPEG. I'm sure I have. <laughs> All right, looks like they're readying up. This race under white. Here we go. Early tier three wall. Six going to check it. I think if it's right at the beginning, might as well. And it is a food shop. Going to get, uh, what, three extra hearts here if we want to gluttony the carrot. Looks like he's going to hang on to it, though. JPEG's going to motor on through to one, two. Miss that food shop, but they will have a bomb for the upcoming blood shop if we can find it. Looks like they're gonna spend some time sacrificing here, though. Or attempt to, anyway. Yeah, doing a lot of <laughs> skeleton wrangling here. And finally, the boss. So we should be able to get glass weapons here. If we do that wrangle, doesn't look like we're gonna go for that wrangle, though. Stack of bombs as well on one, two. Stake finds them. JPEG did see them, but uh, was dealing with Minotaur charges. And that'll allow Stake to get into the blood shop if we find it. Looks like Stake's gonna wrangle the Minotaur for the sacrifice. So that'll drop three glass weapons. Whip, spear, and bow. Yeah, bow's gonna be, or uh, spear's gonna be the choice there. JPEG doing the normal sacrifice five enemies on the sacrifice gets you three random items and it wasn't very great picked up ring of gold out of it but finds a weapon on one two yeah, base whip <laughs> while stake goes shopping gets an infernal torch and there's the blood shop for jped spending a little extra time here on the level there's going to be an obsidian harp gold warhammer obsidian whip i imagine we'll be going for the harp stake finds a grenade charm on one three Sydney Harp's pretty strong. As long as we can keep that multiplier up. And Steak is finally gonna gluttony off that carrot because we found a stack of cookies on 1-3. There's the grenade charm for JPED. JPED also getting the blood drum, which can absolutely make the difference. Unless we switch out for cookies here. Death Metal is your zone one boss. Just a few taps with that glass spear is going to get staked the victory. And JPED is going back for the blood drum. Going for 
black chest, Steak finds a titanium cat. Excellent swap off there. JPED could go for that too, or uh, miss a grenade toss. <laughs> it's the second one. Um, could go purple. It looks like they are gonna go for the cat. Steak doing some shopping at the exit of 2-1. There is some armor there. Torch of Foresight. That'll let us see where the traps are on the minimap, which can give you a, a good idea of which direction you should be going if you're looking for the exit or if you're hoping for a trap door. You can also just see the traps on the level. See all those trap doors for Steak. Both racers picking up that quartz armor as well. JPEG's got the uh, the pink lamb. Looks good. <laughs> Another trapdoor for stake into the zone two mosh pit. It's King Kanga. Should be a pretty easy fight. Grenade toss to get into phase two. JPEG finding that same mosh pit into the Kanga fight. Flawless victory for stake. We'll be checking purple here for a ring or spell. Gets the ring of luck. Which I guess for now is fine. We don't have the luck charm. So it's still doing something for us. Keeps the bats away. It also upgrades your food. You would find in barrels. So if it was like cheese or an apple, it'd be upgraded to a ham or drumstick, which is pretty good. Arena on 1-3. Gonna get a pulse spell. JPED went the... Red chest on the zone two boss fight found a shovel of battle. <laughs> That's not the title, but it works. Also has some glass uh, slippers, which they're able to stay on them hot coals. So JPEG's pretty much just following what Stake's doing and waiting for an opportunity to overlap them. Good pulse there for Stake finding uh, three more grenades on two two. I like JPEG being conscious of those glass slippers and just hanging out on the, the hot coals. But steak's gonna be done with 2 2. On to 2 3. Cracked wall right away. Uh, needs to set up for a bomb. There's also a peace shrine here. Also needs to set up the grenade throw. Does get it, gonna get the ring of peace and a miner's cap in the barrel. That's not terrible. We're gonna grab both of those. Imagine JPED will do the same. So this is gonna get quite more sprintier. JPED taking a few hits there. A clappa and a slime down to one heart. Both racers into the fortissimo fight. Can be quite the awkward fight on zone three, but Stake handles it with a pulse. Gets the flawless victory and skipping the boss chest. Just gonna move her on. Uh, JPED uh, has Fortissimal stuck there. Does finally get the pulse and is gonna check the chest. That's gonna give Stake a bit of a lead here in zone four. Hey, Pitar, and welcome other Condorians. <laughs> just in time for the first race. Between JPED and Stake here. There's a monster shopkeep on 4 2, but Stake's uh, in go mode. I kind of like that. Maybe they saw their opponents at one heart. Kind of keep the pressure on them. Because they'll have to play a bit safer or risky. So Stake's forcing the slow play and or death. Oh, Stake taking a few hits here too. Try to use a grenade to deal with that swarm, but they were already past him. Good grenade into that exit though, and they'll be done with zone four. JPED did check that monster shop keep. There's nothing really great in there. Nothing really worth spending time to get. There's stakes dealing with Coral Rift. Good pulse there, can follow up with another one. Or just a hit here. Has cookies still. Well, one cookie. And JPED's gonna roll a black bat. You're always gonna lose that fight. That's why you like getting luck. Zone four black bats will generally always dunk you. And you can see stakes shift into slow mode here at the uh, five one exit. Yeah, rolling a black bats like uh, betting against the house that cheats is notoriously known for cheating and has like 
a bunch of witnesses on call that'll say, hey, they weren't cheating, you just suck at poker. <laughs> But stake finding the shop here, gonna get extra health, apple and two purple hearts. And full clearing 5-1 here, I think they're looking for the chest, but it's like way over there, so <laughs> we just leave. Checking all the doors here. That might just be a side effect of the miner's cap. Has enough grenades for the Necker Dancer fight. No quick kill on Dead Ringer. But we'll check this 5 2 shop. Earth spell. That'll do it. Along with a big dig, so three damage. Big dig with miner's cap. How does that work? Okay, it's just miner's cap. <laughs> Kind of hoping it'd be like still a big dig. <laughs> Stake just gonna tank a black skeleton hit. Quartz armor doing its job. Taking another hit there. We don't want to take all these hits. Want to have a, a bit of a cushion for Dead Ringer shenanigans or Necker Dancer shenanigans. Ah, oh, there's Ham. Okay. It bailed. <laughs> and we'll see the first Dead Ringer fight of this match. It's a right side spawn, so easy. Left side, go, 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 go. Don't gotta worry about Miner's Cap and, uh, Earthquake kills being awkward. Oh, the dry baby. <laughs> Don't want to pick that up. There's the grenades to get in the phase two. Let's wrap this seed up. And once again, welcome everyone from Batar's channel, doing three commentaries this, today already. That's like a lot of commentaries. Who won uh, the last one? Give me, give me the results. One more hit for steak. Gonna get it here. And they'll finish this seed off just under 11 minutes. 10.55 race time, 10.42 in game. GG. Let's take a look at that uh, JPEG death. Rolling that bat. What's Steak's dad? It's hot sauce. Or steak sauce, I guess. Yeah, just straight into the bat. Sub nines left and right. Nice. Two to one. Feels good. And if you didn't know, Steak's Cadence is a steak on a steak. And if he gets heavy plate, it turns into canned steak. <laughs> Which I'm sure is a thing somewhere. All right, we're going. Red Chest has a torch. And there's also a stack of bombs on 1-1 one -one here. Also, Stake's obsidian armor sets the stake on a stake on fire. <laughs> it's good stuff. Stake using a, a bomb trap and barrel combo to get an extra heart. JPED's missing, uh, what, the torch here? Which is unfortunate. Early vision's really nice. You can see those tiny sub rooms in zone one, and that can lead to chests and uh, bomb stacks. 
There's another red chest on one, two near the shop. It's a lock shop. Oh, it's a blast helm. JPED might miss that too. That's not a terrible shop. Bunch of health and uh, obsidian staff. The blood shop has titanium staff and a glass torch. Looks like Stake's just gonna go for... Here's the kill. Bought the magic apple to lure Mr. Douse into a false sense of safety. And then uses the blast helm to get it done. JPED found a miner's cap, but I think we stand the blast helm. Remember your blast helm kill. Bomb bomb hit. Or we're not gonna take we could stand the titanium staff. I mean that works. Just be down one damage. Stake gonna get the luck charm here eventually. A lot of enemies jumping on that stack of gold and resetting the counter. Jphead finds a trap door and a red chest on one three grenade charms again. Uh, which is kind of a bummer because we have the blast helm. So like if JPEG kept that miner's cap, it'd have been a pretty good sw switch there. But instead, this blast helm is going to be doing six damage instead of four. And we are going to see a bit of seed variance as Stake has done the shopkeep kill where JPEG is not. Who cracked the wall on 1-3 near the exit. I like JPED using the staff here instead of just bombing the dragon. We can uh, take care of a lot of those enemies by the exit. Are we going to check this? Using the blood drum, it looks like. No? Okay. Transmute. Get a shovel. Stake's also doing the same. We got the big dig. New torch for both racers. Stake went hard for the torch. And JPED rolling the weapon finds an electric dagger. That's a big play. Good blood drum kill on death metal, your zone one boss. And checking purple chest finds a transmute spell. Yeah, big risky play from JPED paying off there. They used all their bad RNG on that black bat seed one in prep for this one. <laughs> I mean, staff, obsidian staff can absolutely keep pace here. So let's see how state can do it. Gonna get a few extra hearts here in the food shop. unable to get the uh gluttony charm but with all those hearts don't really need it oh there's a ring of mana in the 2-2 shop jped's gonna grab it mana transmute as we both push on through 2-3 three. i mean steak could do some Transmute magic here too to get difference. Look at that arc damage for JPEG, just clearing out that 4 3 room. All that mud. But we're both into Coral Rift. Stake lines up the laser shot. And then uh, a Blast Helm use there to get done. Ball is victory. JPEG's going to throw the dagger and also use that grenade helm. Purple chest check for Stake. It's going to be a uh, freeze. Um, Finger, <laughs> dome, scroll even. JPET's gonna transmute that and found a uh, pickaxe. So gonna keep the big dig. Here's some armor finally for stake on 3-1. It's gonna be uh, the quartz armor again. JPET also finds it. And you can see the uh, seed variants here as those chests were in different locations. Crack wall on 4-2 near stake. will eventually open it, looks like an arena with nothing really great in it we could have transmuted it to see if we got something but jped did that and did not find anything so good call and stake just to tally ho and get out of there there's a pulse spell for jped with the ring of mana that's 10 damage and uh recharges real dang quick but meanwhile stake has found a shriner and found the ring of regen excellent swap there And Stake's going to be into your zone 3 boss first. It's Kanga. JPED trailing just a bit behind here. Looks like Stake's going to take out the Kanga line. Saving the grenades. 
at a total of three right now. JPAT's gonna have a much easier fight here with that Arc Dagger. Oh, poor spider. <laughs> First stake. All right, eyes on stake. He's gonna have uh, some teleports here in zone four. Also a potion right away on four one. I've been an advocate for the staff this season. It's really good for the splash damage. It's, it's dangerous in zone four because you get the cross screen teleports, but if you plan for it and pay attention to where the warlocks are, it's it's real good. JPED also finding that uh, potion. Taking a few hits here, but that quartz armor, we're sitting all right. Same mistake there. Finds a uh, armor charm, some cheese to heal up here. Teleporting all over the place, feels good. Eventually get to this exit, don't get caught on goo. We do have emergency grenades. JPED in that same room here, just a few rooms behind. Stake just taking a golem hit, but quartz armor doing its job. Taking a blood nightmare hit, quartz armor doing its job. <laughs> Gonna get some more grenades before we exit 4-3. And De Deep Blues is gonna be your uh, boss. JPED uh, maintaining pace here. And there's that freeze scroll for stake coming in handy. Easy kill there, but another easy blood drum dagger throw for JPED. And we're gonna be in a sprint in zone five. This is where the dagger kind of loses its amazingness. Um, you still get that infinite damage when you stand on the conduit, but it's not that necessary. Um, JPED found a quick shortcut to the exit, but the Minotaur got away from him. Made up a bit of time there. Both racers gonna find the 5-2 trap door. Easy pulse for JPED. Stake's gonna have to clear this out. And JPED with the map, but uh, Stake is able to find the exit just fine. Just needs to get this Minotaur. Just tanking hits here, it's fine. We got Quartz Armor and uh, all the health. Stake into Dead Ringer first. JPED just behind. It's a right side spawn. Easy. Left side. Go, 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 go. For Stake, but JPED's going to use that uh, 10 damage pulse. And uh, probably finished it at about the same time. Yo, look at that orange lamb, Dorian. It's amazing. Big fan of that. It takes in the phase two already. Getting frozen by the Nectar Dancer and bathing in fire. Both racers with one hit. This can come down to teleports and lures. So we're pretty much even here. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. Oh, bad location for JPED there. Stake's done. It's a race to the stairs. And we're gonna see Stake going first. However, Condorbot has JPED a second faster. Also the in-game times. Yep, that's gonna be a review. Uh, we'll give that to JPED because Condorbot is giving it to JPED. Excellent race there. All right, we're on to the final race of the match. Went into Necker Dance with 11 bombs. Yeah, especially with like all those swarms in zone four, zone five. Could have been taken care of. Snake was doing it a little bit, but they were being uh, a bit more conservative. They did not have that bomb count. Here we go, race number three. Let's see who can get that coveted second loot. Quick reset for JPED. Didn't like what they saw. Stick's just gonna carry on to the exit. There's a crack wall here. We could get a value bomb out of this barrel. We gotta take care of these blue slimes first. Probably worth it though. Another reset for JPED, was that? No, he's just he's just, just a long 1-1. Just money in that barrel. 
Not a terrible blood shop. Stick's just gonna buy the armor and explore boots. We got the chainmail in there. Um, there was a gold rapier, which is pretty okay. Um, it took us a while to get to this blood shop, though. So throwing's a bit of a risk, and JPEG's gonna take it. Oh, he reset! You could have kept going there. Didn't have a great teleport. Uh, could have went down and uh, just bought the armor there. Would have been down one heart. Lock shop on one, two for stake. There's that grenade charm again. And uh, magic apple. Looks like we're just going to bomb the shop for the grenade charm. JPEG making their way back to that blood shop. You really got to hope you get a good throw here or just buy the items. He's going to go for the throw. Okay, got it this time. Good. <laughs> it won't be resetting one more time. Meanwhile, Stake is at the 1 2 exit. Bit of a good Minotaur wrangle there. Could have gotten away from him. We'll head into 1 3. Check the shop, didn't see anything you liked in there. JPEG finds a free map on 1-2. It's hanging out by a bomb trap, that Shrine of Space. Also a torch. Look at all those ghosts for steak, and the monkey comes in and ruins the day. <laughs> That'd be a bit concerned, too, when you got four ghosts following you. <laughs> Monkey's like, oh, easy monkey hug here so now jped uh with with the lead with a pretty good build we'll see if steak goes for this blood shop again oh, he's going for this barrel again it's there's just money in the barrel you don't need to do that we'll see if steak now steak's not going to do the throw JPEG makes it past that ghost monkey combo. And we got a red dragon. Good grenade toss there. There's that quartz armor again. I don't think we're going to grab it this time. Chainmail is a bit better. We're also going to get the luck charm. Uh, just kidding. There's just so many enemies walking over that gold pile. We're just going to get it up and go. Zone 1 boss is going to be a deep blues. Easy grenade toss. Man, the seven grenades already? Is like a lot of grenades. JPEG checks black chest, finds titanium broadsword. Gonna stay on the gold rapier. I'm. I agree with that. Still get the two damage lunge and gold kills. Not bad. Speaking of gold kills, not gonna get one here. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to set it up. Uh, it's getting awkward. It's getting awkward, JPEG. Okay, finally got it. Sometimes it's a good idea just to respect that red dragon's space and take him out normally. Stick getting hit again by some following ghosts, but does get revenge on uh, most of them there. They'll be dealing with their own red dragon. Another ghost coming in tow here. Looks like this should be fine. Food shop grab for JPED. Also found a ring of regen, very good. Uh, we're not going to go to the food shop. Uh, just checking red chest. Steak finally into deep blues. Bunch of cookies. Yeah, JPEG's just going to... Well, you could, uh... Well, it's fine. This is faster, I guess. And Steak going for a ring. Maybe saw the ring of regen over on JPEG's side and uh, thought that's what was in the purple chest. But I'm gonna find the ring of gold. Titanium whip for JPED. Yeah, I don't know if we switched for that. Uh, I had the gold kill there on the dirt golem. Gonna use the blood drum to take care of some of these enemies here. But stake will find that ring of regen in that blood shrine on 2 2. Needs to be a bit careful with. Uh, this base dagger. 
JPEG's already through to Coral Riff. Zone 2 boss, two grenade tosses and gets it done. Stake's gonna miss the food shop and we'll be into 2-3. And there's another broadsword in the black chest. It's gonna be obsidian. JPEG's gonna stay on the gold rapier. Now that's more of a choice. I feel like the goal or uh, obsidian's worth the take. Even if it is a broadsword. We'll see what stakes. I think stake has to take it here. JPEG doing some shopping on 3 2, gets snow bro. Yeah, stake's gonna take the obsidian broadsword. And JPED looking to eventually find the exit here, doing a bit of farming on 3 2. Meanwhile, that allows Stake to catch up here once we deal with this swarm. And there's a the shop for you, JPED. It's got the heavy plate. And see what else is in there. Looks like they're just going to skip it, though. Would cost. A grenade, I guess. Looks like Stake's gonna skip it as well. JPEG keeping the pressure on into the zone three boss. It's death metal. We can use the blood drum for a quick kill. Two hits on the blood drum. Stake getting fair and balanced. Dropping that obsidian damage down to one heart using some cookies during that fight it Does get down to uh, deep, uh, death, death metal. Yep, but JPEG keeping the pressure on here Finds an obsidian cat on 4-1 finally a weapon And also in an arena with a protection charm might as well Another broadsword in the black chest I'm a glass one. That's annoying. <laughs> I imagine JPEG saw that too. Is Stake gonna find the uh, obsidian cat though? Yes, he will. Okay. Bad telemonkey for JPEG. Just sent him back to the beginning. Wasn't too far there. Oh, there's a, a danger shopkeep on 4 1. We don't got time to check that though. Just gotta push on forward here. Let's see if that telemonkey does something for Stake. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Got him to uh, the exit, and we're essentially in the same room here. Stake's just got to get out. Stake also picked up the Miner's Cap. That's going to add a little extra scoots for him here. Careful this exit. It's a bit busy. Stake handles it just fine. We're both into 4-3. Look at this. My oh, my bats. So many bats and no luck charm. JPEG down to that zone 4 boss first Stake did a really good uh, warlock um, pixie interaction there to get a heal back taking a lot of hits here dropping that obsidian damage is going to be a problem at this exit jpet's already done with king konga in zone five uh stake's gotta do a grenade zuma here can you do that i think you can it's awkward just gonna use two grenades and into zone five JPEG into 5 2. Stake could catch up here if they get a fortunate map for the Miner's Cap to be useful. Oh, it took a big hit from that. Oh no, Stake down to half a heart. But we'll make it through. And then, yeah, there's the Miner's Cap doing a bit of work, allowing them to catch up. We're both into 5 3, and this does not look like a good map. For JPEG, gonna have to go all the way around. Oh, there's a Shrine of Rhythm, but I don't think either racer is gonna see it. Oh, this is a bad exit room for Stake. There's so many enemies and obsidian problems. Just gonna use a grenade here. It has to get around these skeletons. Meanwhile, JPEG's into the Dead Ringer fight. So, left side spawn, gonna use the Snow Bro and Blood Drum for the flawless victory. Stake does make it through. Does not have a quick kill here, and it's a left side spawn. We're gonna see Stake Cat Strats. Big kind of work. This doesn't look very fast, though. And JPEG's going to be in the phase two already. This is stakes getting in. JPEG with that blood drum also going to get the early hit on Necrodancer. 
Oh, red dragon for JPEG. Careful. 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 One more. <laughs> got, got trampled. Meanwhile, steak is uh, still behind here. Three hits on the Necrodancer. JPED does get the final hit in. And it looks like JPED's gonna take this one. Steak just behind, keeping it close there. That seed was scary <laughs> for both racers. Pushing each other's to the limit there. Well done. Excellent matchup. We'll get a dot contest on that second race. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Usually it takes the refs about a day to uh, get that in.